GH for STEM Junior's Challenge. From Integrity Keeper School in the Ashanti region of Ghana, we have Sandra Owusuwansa from Poma. This junior scientist will conduct a balloon boat experiment in order to show us the effect of force on an object. For this science practical, Sandra will use a straw, a balloon, a rubber band, a styrofoam plate, and a basin of water. Let's see what Sandra can do with this everyday ingredients. Remember that force makes objects move. To begin with my experiment, I take my styrofoam plate, my ruler and my pen, draw pieces of both the shape I want. The styrofoam plate is less dense than the water, so it will float. I cut the unwanted parts with my cutter. Careful not to cut yourself or get an adult to help you do the cutting. I locate the center of my boat. Then I make a hole with my hole puncher. I insert the other end of my straw in my balloon. Then gently tie with my rubber band. I will insert my straw in my styrofoam plate. Then I inflate my balloon. When I'm done, I make sure I cover the other end of my straw to prevent the balloon from deflating. Don't let go of the straw tip until you're ready to see the boat move. Now I gently place my balloon boat on the surface of the water. My boat was able to move on the surface of the water because the force of the released air was able to overcome the frictional force on the surface of the water. Therefore, I conclude that force has effects on objects. The life application of this experiment, for example, boats have propellers that develop a turning force to move the boats forward. When the tree branches move, that is air exerting force on them. Air can exert force on all objects. That is why strong winds are very dangerous and very tall buildings are built with stabilizers to prevent the wind from blowing them down. It's time for Genial's Practical STEM Quiz. Does the shape and design of the front of the boat influence how fast or how well it's able to travel? Which will be fastest? A round end? A flat end? Or a pointed end like in the video? Now you've seen Sandra's experiment. Can you try this experiment at home by yourself or with your friends from school? Make a video or take some pictures of the results of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag We Go Innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag gh 4 stem You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at We Go Innovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too.